my name is Rachel Unruh. I am the marketing and PR coordinator for the Sternberg Museum. And this is a new way to museum. So today I decided to do some hands-on stuff. I know a lot of people have done um, some really great instructional videos, but um, I, I like to get hands-on and doing how-to videos. And so today I'm going to do a how-to make your own miniature dino diorama. So when you come to the Sternberg Museum and you go to the third floor, you'll see that we have kind of like this great walk through time um, display. So we have dinosaurs and we have a T-Rex that will turn and growl at you and you can even walk underneath the ocean and see like the fish within the fish and like our big tylosaur and it just like really feels like you're stepping through time. And so people love that. And so you can kind of bring our little diorama home, um, making your own little display. So what I have here, um, depending how much care you want to put into your diorama, I have real succulents, but you can always um, purchase fake succulents. But I decided it would be way more fun to have like a little more care into it. So I have succulents. And then what you'll need is a big pot to have um, room for not only your succulents, but also your little dinosaurs. And then for your succulents, you'll need to make sure that you have the um, cactus palm um, plot or potting mix. And that's just because succulents don't require too much water. And this soil kind of helps filter the water out if they get too much, then they get sick. So you don't want that to happen. And another thing, I mean, what's great about succulents is you don't have to overwater them, or if you, you don't have to water them too often. I'm kind of like the best advice that I've heard is like you just kind of forget about them for a week and then you come back to them and kind of give them a little bit of water. So I just think it'll bring a little life to your diorama if you so choose so. Um, just. Another little fun fact about your succulents is they will also need food once in a while, so I picked this up to, um, in case when it's time to like give them food, they'll need that. And then of course, you'll also need to make sure that your succulents have wa or sunlight, because of course, what else does a plant need is sunlight. So we usually um, Give them some light in the morning. You don't want to leave them out during the day because they can't handle the heat very much, but if they can get a little sunlight, that would be great. So that's just kind of a little um, breakdown of how to take care of your diorama. So let's get into building it. So that, of course, the fun part. So you've got to get a little messy. So what I have done is I've already kind of filled the dirt in our pot already. I have our little spots here that I, I kind of plan to to place my little succulents. And so what you want to do is gently, you want to be careful not to rip any of their roots that they have. And luckily the little nursely, nurse, nursing pots um, are meant to kind of help you break that out and be um, gentle with them. So we'll lift that little guy out and we'll place him in the pot. That might be a little too deep, so I'll put some dirt back. There we go. And then you'll want to gently pack your dirt around him, making them all nice, secure. I call him him, but if you want it to be a she, you can call it a she as well. So we got one little plant, and then I picked up this little guy here because I was like, wow, this looks like nice little dinosaur of food. I'm sure they'll need something to munch on. And we'll gently kind of squeeze, get him out of the little nursery pot, and place in his new home or her home. Kind of like a Bob Ross, just gonna make happy little trees, happy little bushes. We got this, this guy is kind of top heavy. So I'll probably have to put in a little more dirt for him. Oh man, also his roots have kind of taken home, but that's okay. We're just gonna gently squeeze and work him out. There we go. And we got 
All right, so we got our, our plants in our little dio, uh, dido diorama. So I also thought it'd be fun, like you can't just like give them plants. I mean, that's sure that's cool and all, but we're gonna get fancy with it. So I picked up some of these blue shiny rocks. You can kind of find them anywhere. Um, I found these at Walmart, but obviously you can find them at your local craft store. Um, or anywhere where you are probably the gardening center anywhere where you feel like you can find these um, They're super available pretty much Amazon So I'm gonna go ahead and take a few of these guys Put it in there and now it kind of looks like our dinosaur has a little pond because of course they'll need water even though they're fake, I mean, they'll, we'll pretend that this is water. So we have our little pond. And of course, like our dinosaurs need something to climb on. They, they'll need their exercise. So we have some rocks that we can put in there. Whoop, don't want to, don't squish your plant while you're putting your rocks in. And you could probably put some rocks around there to kind of outline your pond if you want to. It's entirely up to you. You can be super creative with this. And then of course, um, you can add some sticks in there to kind of make it look like they have like a dead forest you can kind of do, or maybe you can make a little home for your dinosaur. So I'm just gonna kind of pop those in there going to make a little forest today. And who knows, maybe the dinosaurs will like to come up and like scratch on them. I'm sure they get itchy. Just like some of our farm animals, they get itchy and they will like to scratch on the on the fence post or the side of the barn. They'll probably like to scratch on the on the wood. You find happy little homes for them. Here and there, maybe this guy, he'll, he'll want to be like near his little bush because he's probably hungry. He's kind of, he was kind of looks like Spike. So maybe this is Spike from a land before in time. Of course, it's never, never complete without your big old predator. I think I'll put him right here in the middle. He's deciding maybe he'll want to go climb the rock. And of course, maybe something have like the circle of life. So maybe we have like a skeleton Oh no, he drank the water. Maybe it was poisonous. Not a good thing. <laughs> and so you can add as many dinosaurs as you want. I'm just going to go ahead and use all of my little guys because why not? But if you want just one or two and you just have your one little guy, that totally works. Ta-da! So the last thing you'll just need to do is go ahead and get your plants watered because this is a brand new little nursery for them. Just a little. Don't need to go too crazy. Dinosaurs are like, oh man, it's raining. There we go. All right, and so that's how you make your own homemade mini dino diorama. Um, so that way if you start to miss the one here at the museum, at least you'll have your little one to have at home. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll make sure I'll have all the materials um, down in the description. So if you forget, like, what did she use? I'll have that down there. So thank you again. Bye. Thanks for joining us in a new way to museum with the Sternberg Museum of Natural History. If you enjoyed this video, like it and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell for notifications when we release a new video. Support us on Patreon for early access and exclusive content. You can also follow us on all our social media. Links are found in the description. Thanks for watching and follow your curiosity to new discoveries.